Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be kind of a more relaxed, chatty kind of video. Um, it's just a speed paint of some fan art that I did recently and the main thing I kind of wanted to talk about in this video is I've been feeling a lot recently that like every single art piece that I make has to be amazing and I think a lot of artists feel that way. We kind of have this like pressure we put on ourselves and it's like every single art piece that I do it needs to be meaningful it needs to be awesome it needs to be it needs to come from a deep place and it needs to be emotional especially for me like a lot of the art I do does come from an emotional place so I feel like if I'm not painting or drawing something that comes from that deep emotional place it's somehow not as valid or not as good or not as worthy and that is false. <laughs> that is not true. That is something our brains tell ourselves because sometimes our brains can be really mean. <laughs> but what I did with this piece in general, like the, the one that I'm drawing right here, basically <laughs> it's fan art for something really silly. And I just wanted to sit down and draw something cute and silly and just have fun with it. And while doing this, I spent a lot more time on it than I thought I would, and I realized I really needed to just do something fun. And I kind of had to remind myself, hey, art is supposed to be fun, and I do it because I like it. And that's that that's the big thing. I can't I can't let myself get bogged down by anxiety and fear because not everything I draw is this amazing masterpiece, you know? Sometimes it's just as valid and just as worthy to just take a few hours and draw something because I think it's fun or because I like it or because I think the character designs are cute or to use a material that I may not be great at, but it's really fun to use. So that is kind of what I did with this with this piece. And I kind of like discovered that as I kept drawing because originally I was just going to do like a little doodle and some sketches and it turned into this like actually finished piece and I will show you guys the finished piece at the end. I actually took this into Photoshop and did some post processing and I added a cool background and put it through a few filters to make it look um, kind of more like a retro video game because that's kind of like what the designs are. Um, I guess I should kind of explain what the fan art is of too. <laughs> um, so there's a YouTube channel called Game Grumps here on YouTube and I really don't watch that many gaming channels but this one is the exception because I genuinely love the people who run the channel. Uh, they're hilarious and funny and I put them on like whenever basically whenever, like whenever I'm home alone and I feel kind of lonely. Um, I watched them a lot while my husband was in basic training and it helped me feel like less alone and just made me laugh. <laughs> and they're really, really funny. And they recently came out with this merch line that featured the two guys who play the games, but they were designed as like 80s anime characters and it's so cute like I love the designs so much and there's like already so much fan art and so many just cute things and I just I don't know I'm I'm in love with it I love the designs I love the whole concept of it um and it's just it's just fun you know it's just a fun internet thing and that is what I love and that's what I'm all about so I took some time and I drew the fun internet thing and it was great and I loved it and I used Copic markers, which I haven't used in forever. And I forgot how much I really enjoy using Copics. They're so fun. And I know there's a lot of things with them not being light fast and maybe not the best, I don't know, material to use for like actually finished artworks. But you know what? They're super fun. And I wasn't taking this piece too seriously. And I just, I just had fun with it. Um, also another thing about the Copics, the reason why I haven't used them lately is one, because I've been using a lot of watercolors and two, um, last year I moved across the country and I didn't realize it, but I actually left all of my Copics back home. <laughs> so I didn't have access to them. And then I took a vacation back home a few months ago and found all of them. And I was like, oh my God, they didn't get lost in the move. They were just here the whole time. So... Yay! So I may do more Copic stuff 
on my channel. I may not. I don't know. It really depends on how I feel because that's kind of where I am now. I'm kind of like, I just want to do what I want to do. <laughs> and that's kind of the theme I think I'm going into for 2019. I feel like I'm definitely having like Jenna Marbles vibes. Like, I'm just going to do what makes me feel good and what makes me happy because if I'm being totally candid and totally real, my channel is not growing the way I would like it to and I'm definitely not getting... The numbers aren't where I thought they would be at this point. And ultimately, it does not matter. This is a social media and while, yes, I do treat it kind of like a business sometimes, in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter. So instead of focusing on what may be popular or what may get me more views, I'm just going to do whatever the heck I want to do. And I feel like it's going to make the overall channel better because I'll be less stressed. I'll be just doing what I enjoy. And I feel like that'll definitely come out in my videos. So yeah, uh, this video kind of turned into a bit of a ramble and I feel kind of scatterbrained in it, but I hope you guys don't mind. Um, but yeah, this is just a, a quick video where I just want to talk about some of the things that I'm feeling because I do that a lot and I like to just scream out into the void that is the internet sometimes and I'm glad you guys are here to listen to me. <laughs> But anyway, that is going to be it for this video. Um, if you guys do like gaming channels, check out Game Grumps if you haven't already. They're a huge gaming channel, so if you watch videos like that, I am sure you guys have heard of them. Um, but I love them. They're great. I bought one of their t-shirts and I'm actually wearing it right now as I do this voiceover. Um, but yeah, they're awesome. I had so much fun drawing and coloring this. I had so much fun using my Copics. I enjoyed trying a cutie or cuter style that's not as realistic and just, I don't know guys, I had fun. This was great. It was a fun video. I don't know what else to say. I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> I will see you this Friday for another tarot video and yeah. Um, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button to become a member of the Fairy Fam, even though I just complained about how it doesn't matter. It does help me a lot anyway, and if you like my content, well, it helps us both. So <laughs> I'll see you guys uh, in the next video, and until then, I hope you guys have a wonderful evening, and I will see you later.